What's going on, everyone? Hope everybody's doing well. Um, let me turn off this fan real quick. I don't got no AC right now. It's hot. Um, hope everybody's doing good. Um, I know everybody's been paying attention to everything that's been unfolding um, in these last few days. Um, but I don't want us to get too caught up in one area to forget about exactly what is going on and how it's taking place and how everything is all coming together and lining up. Um, okay, you guys remember this last video I put up, April 9th, um, 2020. You guys remember when I put that video up and it was a vision that I had un under this uh, super pink moon. Those of you who did not see this video, um, you can check it out. It was about um, this nation, um, the daughter of Babylon, whore of Babylon, and it was conceiving the spirit of the Antichrist. All right. It was conceiving. It was conce it was conceiving the spirit of the Antichrist, and in the second vision, the Antichrist spirit and and the Antichrist was already here, and it was it was in in a, a baby form, and it was being fed. This 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 beast, this this Antichrist was being fed. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how everything that's been happening the last few weeks, how it all ties in together. All right. Um, please like, please share this video. Um, I'm more than ever asking people to help me share this con these contents because I'm really trying to get these messages out and get these visions out to people. Um, I have a calling to do. I have a duty to do. I don't. I don't have a choice in this. I want people to understand that clearly. And the only thing I ask for people, I ask for people to help share the content. That's the only thing I can ask. Or you know, also um, you know, just keep me in prayer because. When I when I give these videos out and I come and I talk about these things, you know, there's a level of spiritual warfare I have to get into. All right. So there is backlash of um for this, but these messages aren't for me, for myself. These messages are for you, are for the people. All right. That is what I'm assigned to do. You know, that's that's the role of a prophet. That's the that's the role of a seer. All right. We have to play this part. And those of you who are, are, are believers and you love people and you want to see people get saved and people and, and not see people perish for lack of knowledge, then all I ask is that you help share this content. All right. So those of you who saw that vision understood clearly what it was about. You know, it was about in um, uh, the Antichrist being birthed. In this nation, through this nation, and being fed by this nation. About a month after I posted this video, this bill was proposed. Do you guys see the connection? Do you guys see it? A month after I posted this video about the birth thing of the Antichrist and this Antichrist spirit being fed and being built up this bill right here was proposed all right um and this was introduced on may 1st okay and let's let's read a little bit about this bill okay this bill would provide 100 billion in grants to faith based organizations you see this it's about to be a crazy setup and a crazy plot. All you believers out there, all nationalities, all backgrounds, anybody who's just curious, just watching this, understand what you know, what's going on. Understand the time that you're living in. All right. Look at six 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 six. Those of you who knows about six 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 is is the mark of man, mark of the beast. All right. So this bill will provide 100 billion in grants to faith-based organizations, clinics, medical centers, and other organizations which perform testing for the C virus, tracing of exposure to the C virus, or services for individuals who are isolated at home. The funding could be used to pay staff or purchase personal protective equipment to protect their staff. All right. 
um, another thing that I read, and you guys could could read more about it. The other thing that I read about it is to, um, it will provide tracing. Tracing. Okay. Um, let me see if I can find it. It's testing and then tracing right here. Contact everyone. So it's testing and then it's tracing involved. All right. It's supposed to be uh, disease prevention. Right. And it says to award grants for testing, contact tracing, monitoring. All right. So part of this tracing that they've been saying is this, you know, this chip, this chip process. They want to start to trace people. To chip people. Vaccinate people. Okay, understand what's going on. And this is right after I released that vision. So you can kind of make the connection from there. Right. So and let, let's talk about George Floyd and how all of this is going to is, is they're going to use all everything that's going on right now. They're going to use it to their advantage. It all plays a part is is unfortunate, but his death, they will use his death to push political agenda. They will use his death to push the Antichrist agenda, the Mark of the Beast system. Unfortunate, very unfortunate, but this is what they're doing right now because, as you can see, the riots taking place all over the nation over this man's death. They took this as an opportunity because they've been waiting for this opportunity. You see, COVID-19 wasn't enough for them. Let me say that again. COVID-19 wasn't enough. They did not get the reaction that they wanted from people when it came to social distancing, not sending out money, and, and they could not get the, the proper reaction. You know what I mean? That they was expecting from people. Because you, you remember one of their, their quotes is, they will never let a good crisis go to waste. And even though they push laws and agendas and wear your mask and this and this and that and you can't go out, you can't assemble to pray, you can't assemble at church and all the things that they were pushing on people, it just wasn't enough. So when a man was killed on camera in front of, in front of a live, in front of pedestrians... He was killed on camera, an innocent man, abused, roughed up, then killed. It was terrible to watch, to even hear about. I try not to even watch the whole video to this day, but I still see bits and pieces of it, and I still hear bits and pieces of it. It is terrible. It was an outrage. They purposely did not lock the police officer up for about three or four days. Purposely. Because they wanted to get this reaction that you see right here in front of you. So they can bring in martial law. So they can further take away your, your rights. Because let me tell you something about these protests and these rioters, they have a lot of agents coming in, coming in to these, um, to these protesting. And these agents are trained and they are told to go into these protests and to agitate the crowds. Wild them up. Break windows. Set things on fire. So that the media could go ahead and blame it on the people who are protesting so they can have a justification to bring in more anarchy, to bring in the martial law, to get people arrested. Most of these people are complaining is that the, the police are the ones who's being violent towards them as they're protesting. In the same country where you had a bunch of men at the state capitol with guns just a, just a week ago, a couple weeks ago. Fully semi-automatic weapons, 
rifle, firearms, armored up in Capitol, protesting with guns. The president called them good people. The people protesting, the president called them thugs. Because people are looting, but people has had enough. But they love this. They soaking this all up right now. I understand what's going on. They love this. So they got their agents. Let me show you one. This guy right here, who is an agent. I'm going to play this video. He's an agent. It's Minneapolis, 3rd Precinct. That's the police station right there. That's why I'm doing this to you guys. <laughs> Look at this dude. He's an agent. Look how he's dressed. And you'll see in a lot of these videos, a lot of these guys, a lot of these people are dressed like that. They're dressed in all black. A full all black attire. With their face partially covered. I zoomed in. I'll do my little bit. Those cops will come for you if you're pulling that crap. Right? And he also spray painted on the wall uh, for people to take free stuff. And people are trying to figure out who he is. Now he's threatening to fight this guy who's following him. This guy, look at this guy. He got a he got a pizza. He got a pizza in his hand in the blood. Now she put he pushes the camera. He's an agitated instigator. Agent. He should be arrested. They're trying to figure out who he is. Because he's definitely, you can see he's not part of the demonstration. With an umbrella. Broad daylight. No rain. All black attire. Face covered. He should be arrested. But this is this been going on. I want you I want you guys to understand that this right here this right here been going on. This is nothing new. They've always had agitators in these protests. That's why I tell them everybody that's going out there, if you're going to these protesting to protest and voice yourself, you have to be careful because you have agitators there who are hired and paid to go do this, then the media is going to spin it, blame it on you, and it's going to seem like it's a right thing to do to get you under control. I hope everybody's seen this and understanding all over the world that you see what's going on. And they do see what's going on. There's a protest that's going on right now in uh in London. This is going on all over the world. And everybody's tired of it. Everybody's sick of it. Understand what they're going to do. They will use this opportunity to organize, to help fund and organize these protests. Because what a lot of people don't know about the Black Lives Matter movement. And these other guys who are alt-right supremacists and extremists. What these people don't know is that they're playing in a pawn at the same time. They're playing in a game at the same time. In the matrix at the same time. Because you have groups of men in this world who will fund both sides of a war. This has been going on. This has been happening since God knows how long. World War One, World War Two, they they funded both sides of that war. There were loans given out to Hitler and America. The same thing with this movement that you see. They're gonna fund both sides. They're gonna fund the agitators. They'll give the agitators money and they'll fund and help push the protests. They have they have to stir up civil unrest and envy in all types of ways that they can. So everyone could believe that everything is falling apart and we need a new government. And that's the setup for the Antichrist to come. I hope y'all see this plot. Like and share this video. I hope, I hope you guys see this. 
Hope you guys see where I'm coming from. What I'm trying to show you. How they set and how they stage and set everything up. Peace, y'all. Stay blessed, stay informed. Share, please. Like, sh share. Um, pray. Stay open. Don't get don't get too caught up in the matrix. I know I know I get caught up in my emotions when I see these videos, but I understand the bigger plots. I understand what's going on. Peace, y'all. Peace.